This is how you make a mug after you've already centered the clay. So to begin with, we're going to make our opening. Remember, you always want to have a lot of water. So I press down until I got about a fourth of an inch left before I hit the bottom. Okay. And after that, I'm going to widen the base. Kind of up to you as to how wide you want to make your base based on what type of mug you're going to make. Okay, then I can press the bottom. If you don't compress the bottom, you're likely going to have a crack that forms. Um, sometimes I'll even just use my finger to compress the bottom. Make the base look the way that I want. Okay, then it's time to pull up the walls. So using the same technique that you had on the cylinder, I'm going to start at the bottom, start bringing that clay up. As you go, you want to compress the top, keep that top edge looking nice. I'm going to make a mug that has a little bit wider base and then comes in to a bit of a smaller shape um, at the opening on the top. This, you're just trying to think about how you can make more of a functional piece. get that water out of the inside. So I'm making my sponge a little bit smaller to be able to soak up that water. Always keep your project spinning at this point. Clean up the outer edges. It's kind of up to you where you uh, put your tools in on the clay. Sometimes I like to do it on the angle that I'm at. Sometimes I'll do it on the side like this. off as much clay as you think you need to. Do your project from the side. We're going to trim up this bottom um, by flipping the project over. can use a sponge on the outside that's wet to kind of make it look nice. You could add in some designs using lines. You got a line at the top and a line at the bottom. Some of these things I'll probably end up doing a little bit more once I trim the bottom though. Then you take it off the same way you've done all of your uh, other projects. Get that water on the bottom here. Use your thumbs so that way it's real flat. So I'm pressing my thumbs down on the metal as I move underneath the project from two different angles. The project will start to slip. Pull that wire out from underneath. Slide the project so that I can hold it on the underside. Be careful not to uh, touch the walls. Place this over in the storage area. 